Yes, people, welcome back to another TS Talks. Hope you're all doing good. Now, over the weekend, it's been, um, you know, ups and downs for me in terms of um, all the sports that's gone on. Um, first lead of boxing, um, obviously Anthony Joshua um, losing his belt um, in a points decision win to Usyk. And, you know, first things first, I have to give Usyk credit. Uh, you know, moving up from cruiserweight, you know, a lot of people say, you know, these cruiserweights shouldn't put on um, too much weight because sometimes it, it can make them lose some of the fundamentals which made them really effective um, at cruiserweight. You know, I think was he, he weighed in at 220, is like 15 stone two, so not much more than what the cruiserweight limit um, is of 14.4. Um, Joshua obviously came... Well, he was roughly around two forty pounds, which again, um, is some of his lightest. Um, you know, I think that's close to the Ruiz rematch weight, and then obviously the um Pulev fight weight. So again, um, Joshua coming light, and I think for some people they thought he maybe he's coming light to try and outbox Usyk, and. Uh, Joshua just weren't able to get his game plan off, you know, as soon as the fight started, um, Usyk, Usyk came out, you know, ready on it, um, he, he kind of did like a feint and, and, and hit Joshua with, with a left early in, it must have been like within the first 20 seconds, and it kind of like, it kind of like, what's the word, like, it kind of got Joshua's respect from there, the, I think definitely the first three rounds, Usyk had it, you know, it was easily his rounds. I think the following three rounds, four, five, six, Joshua come back into it. Um, but Usyk was such, he's such a good fighter that at times when Joshua was, was tagging him, he couldn't even do anything else because he was getting, he was getting something back in return. Um, so it, it was a, it was a tough one for, it was a tough night for AJ and, um, you know, I think the only thing I, I can, the only um, one of the negatives I can probably take from the performance is that maybe not going in for it more. And even um, his coaching team, I'm thinking by round 10, you surely got to be telling them now, like, look, like, you, you've got to go for the knockout here. Like, you, you're behind on the cards. When I hear some of the talk, it's like, oh, you know, he was winning after that for eight rounds. And I'm like, winning where? Like, you know, in total, I probably give him about four rounds at best. Um, and even on the cards, they made things sound close, but it, was, it wasn't close at all. Like, he got schooled. And um, obviously, they've got the rematch clause to activate. Um, everyone's talking about he needs to get rid of Robin McCracken. Maybe he does. But... I think for the next fight, he's, he, for the rematch, he's got to come out there swinging and, you know, um, ready to cause damage. Because if not, um, then he's going to be without the belts again. So um, it'll be interesting. Um, we'll, we'll wait and see now where the rematch is going to be, um, whether it's in Ukraine, whether it's in Saudi Arabia. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. But, you know, that was a down on the Saturday evening, but then the up on Sunday afternoon was Arsenal, North London Derby. Um, it's a game, I thought, you know what, we should win this game relatively closely. But the first half, we blew them apart. You know, 3-0 in the first half. Um, you know, great performance from the team. Like, you know, Saka and Will Smith Rowe, quality. But the whole team was quality, truth be told. I can't just pick them two out. Obviously, them two scored. Bamiyang scored. Um, it was a it was a really good performance from the team. You know, second half came out and managed it. I would have liked to have seen us, you know, kind of put them to the sword more. And, you know, even got four, five, or even six. Um, you know, just to brush them more. Obviously, they got one back. Um, they, had a sh- they had a potential shout for a penalty was it given and then he even had a um a shot which was like the flick slight deflection and Ramsdale tipped onto the bar. Ramsdale were great as well. Um so so yeah, good performance of the team. Um, you know, they look like they're playing for the manager and 
And for Arteta, you know, I, I, at times I've been a bit critical of him. I'm not going to, you know, shy away from that. Or, or you know, lie and say, no, nah, I've always, you know, trusted the process. But sometimes it's little like there is no process. But all, all he can do as a manager is um, keep winning games, you know. People aren't just going to turn back on side after, you know, a North London derby win. All he could do and the team can do is keep winning games and, you know, people will start to have have more faith and trust in you. And, you know, again, this goes to the players. You know, it was great intensity against Spurs, great energy and fight against Spurs. But that's the level of performance or effort that fans want to see week in, week out. We don't just want to see that because it's Spurs. Obviously, Spurs, we never want to lose to them. You should want to batter them. But if you have that level of energy or effort in the performance week in, week out, we can beat a lot of teams in this league. That's just that's just my thoughts on it. <coughs> Bless me. So, yeah, that's just, um yeah, that's my thoughts on it all. Um, I'd be grateful to hear your thoughts both on the boxing or the football, no matter which one you're into. And, yeah. Um, leave your comments in the comment section below and I'll catch you in the next one peace